guys, it's Sinead Arena, or otherwise known as Cronus on this server on uh, Paradox. Today I will be giving you a tutorial on the ranch feature, featuring on how to like put in on recording, how to put them permanently in the ranch, and how to breed them. And also some minor features like the egg that I'm standing right close to, such as this one, the mysterious egg. But first, let me show you how to put, some of you may be asking how to put a uh, Dragomon into your ranch. It's very simple really. Once you unlock the ranch via a quest, you can go to record, and then you can pick which Dragomon you want to put on. Since I already have these two out, I will show you how to do breeding later. But let's throw in this one, since we already have one over here that's waiting. The ranch also has a recording feature where you can get prizes for like if you had the materials and you can record them. So I already finished all this. You got loyalty points, you got a new like skill, Dragomon points. Every fourth one you get a whistle and the fifth one you get a glyph. So I haven't recorded him today but as an example I will do record him. You can only do it once per day and it will refresh at 5, five o'clock in the morning I believe. Uh, I have just recorded him and I have been gifted 10 loyalty points which is great. Now how to put him onto the ranch. All I have to do is just keep on the ranch. However, warning. Before you put them into record, they you cannot take them back out. The, you can either release them or put them on the ranch. For him, the Pentapod, I will put him on the ranch. So keep on to the ranch. Alright, I have put him onto my ranch and I have just been giving a pet. Alright. I will do a tutorial on that maybe later, but that's actually pretty simple. But as you can see, now he's on standby, and so is my rock again. I will show you how to put them off of standby. Let's ride all the way over here. I'm not going to skip any details because you guys will have like some conversation. You just have to go all the way to her, Daisy, the ranch hand. Talk to her, and then open pasture. Inter Since we just put the printer pod, let's throw him down over here. And let's put our rock again over here. Once you do that, you just simply say apply changes. Yes, I want to apply changes. You can only do it once every once a minute. So once you do it, you have to wait another minute until you can do it again. See? There's a pins pod and there's a rock again. Adorable creatures aren't they? You can pet them. So let me just get off my mount. So they're quite adorable and then if you pet them enough, you and your friends can ride them. If you want to get off, just roll or just go onto a different mount. Next we shall go talk about breeding. In order to breed, they have to be at full level, which you can do by giving them food. For example, like this one. But in order to get food, let me just get out of this once I feed them. As you can see here, that they're both immediately going for the food. Depending on how much they like it, it will depend on how much XP they will be getting from the food. So they really like this one, so they got a lot of XP, which is nice from a single dish. However, you guys can see that I have prepared glazed chicken, which mo the majority of them do not like. Though if you do have the platypuses, I have discovered that they, I believe they like the fish one. But glazed chicken like the one that I have just made, this one. You need uh, Tox Roach, which you can easily get, Raw Dragon or any monster below, like the, and the uh, Crescent Bay, Crescent Cape, Kane's Glale, and Kane's Wood will drop. Or you can use your Dragonmon points to buy it. And you need Pepper. Pepper is a unique material item which you can buy from Omi. So I would like to buy some ingredients. We already have some Pepper, so we don't need to buy it, but each, like, the non-expensive materials will cost 100 silver. In the beginning, it's pretty expensive, but once you get towards my level, it's not that much of a big deal. You can also buy recipes, for example, where you can learn new recipes if you want to cook them. So I just have to open the cooking interference, and I already have all the recipes needed, so I can either cook manually, so if I want to cook one meal, I'll cook one meal. Every time you cook something, you'll gain XP for it, and it will increase your mastery on it. Or if you are too lazy and you don't want to click all, like if you want to click 20 and you don't want to like keep clicking, 
you can just simply click auto cook which will cook the food just for you so we only have three more to go I've only got good and perfect perfect I believe gives you double so perfect that gave us four that's only gave us one and now this is the final one that's great good Perfect gives oh not enough back box. Oh that's too bad. Alright. Now we have to feed these guys in order to level them up. If you level them up, so once they go at full um, hearts, you can see if they leveled up. Let's use our cooking, which they honestly don't like. They don't like the honey glazed chicken. If you put them in like an area and both of them eat at the same time, they will both get the equivalent amount of XP. I don't believe it's shared because, as you can see, they both get the, like, the same amount. It's not split or anything. Both of them did not like it. You can see the fear of flames on their head. However, these are the easiest ones and the cheapest ones to make. There are different grades of food, which I will show you in a moment. But this is them hating the food that I currently made. So if I place it down, no matter, even if they hate it, they will go for the food. And it will give them XP, no matter, but it won't give as much XP as the food they like. So while they're feasting on that, let's see, are they almost close to leveling up? They are leveled up. Once they're done being angry at me, I will start breeding them. But first I will show you the other options for cooking. Cooking in Omi, you, I told you, you can get different recipes, but there are the basic ones that I just cooked, like the glazed chicken. These are the simplest ones. There are standard, where you need higher level like materials to it, and the special. The master cookie is a completely different story. You need the Dracocycalis, you need pepper, scallion, and chili. These will give, so if a monster, a monster can occasionally attack your ranch. This has not happened to me yet. But once they do, they can attack your monsters and they will be fatally wounded or sometimes even killed, I believe. But the Master Cookie will keep them from being fatally wounded for one attack. So, even though it's a bit pricey with the Dragocyte Catalyst, it's worth it, I believe. So now we have to move on to breeding. This is the breeding researcher, Fate, otherwise known as a lot, like the hop along that always gets lost. You can get food orders from her, which she will ask you for food of like what you want. she wants to be cooked. Or you can just go to the breeding interference. Both of my Raptite ha are at 100%, so we simply have to click on them. Send to barn, click on them, send to barn. You, know, you can't right click on it, you have to left click it, which is pretty weird. This shows intimacy from 1 to 100. Luckily, these are guys are at 80%. They should be able to mate. This is fierce and timid. So keep breeding. Begin breeding. Yes. And success. I have got myself a healthy Dragomon. And once you breed them, they reset their level, but they level up and turn to level two. So as you can see, these guys are still level one, but these guys are level two. In order to breed them again, however, you're gonna need to level them up. And as you can see, this one is faster than the normal Dragomon. This is level 30%, this is level this is 35%. So this one's slightly faster than the original form of their parents. Now these guys are simply just hungry, so I will feed them anyway, since I have so much food on me. Food will eventually despawn. There are some food that they refuse to eat. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of chickens over here. So apparently the Principal likes the chicken. That's so we found the meal that the Principal actually likes. Rock again, not so much. So Principal likes chicken. That's a piece of advice that I did not know. So if you guys want to cook it for him, please go on right ahead. Now place honey glazed chicken. We're gonna be placing another one. Because I have so many of them, it's starting to clog up my inventory. But while they're eating and feasting on my food, I'll show you the features of the Mysterious Egg. The Mysterious Egg will occasionally give you stats, you just have to bring it all the way to Omi. Which, I'm sorry that you cannot hatch it, because Omi will turn into food. 
If you guys don't like that, don't bring it to him. But this one gave us penetration, which I believe it was a raptite's egg. You can tell by the color on the egg. So that was a raptite egg. For Pinterpot, I don't know what color it would be, but I believe for platypuses in the open beta, it was a snow speckled one. So are they all? Yep, all of them are the raptite's eggs. How are the breeding looking at? The Pinterpot is absolutely loving the glazed chicken. But that's basically all I have for today since that's the majority of the features on the ranch. If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask. I have no problem answering any of them. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Ciao